Hi, my name is Ben Hand. I'm recording this video today to give a review of the Campion 550 Ultra. In doing research prior to buying this, I wasn't able to find a lot of information about this particular model, so I thought I'd go ahead and give my own review for folks who may be interested in buying one. Starting with the rear of the teardrop, one of the features that was added on over the past few years is an external 12 volt outlet. This is useful for people who have the domatic cooler or other 12 volt coolers. I've also used it personally for 12 volt lighting. Um, it could also be used for solar panels as well as a way to plug in and charge the house battery. You'll see here also, and I'll demonstrate shortly, the side table uh, which is built to fit that cooler. Also in the back there is the uh, 120 AC uh, uh, input for times when you have shore power or during storage if you have AC power to keep the house battery topped. The um, stainless steel bumper is an option that I selected, but it's not standard equipment. I'll go ahead and show you some of the features of the galley. The two side tables are standard with the camp in, and I realize now after having it in storage for a few weeks that there's a little bit of uh, residue on the larger table. Apologize for that. The right table is specifically set up for a cooler, either your standard Coleman type cooler or uh, one of the newer, better insulated coolers would be just fine, or even the electric coolers uh, with the outlet underneath. This larger table is a fine place for a meal if there are no picnic tables around. The craftsmanship of the galley is really quite remarkable. The hardware in here is all stainless steel, marine grade hardware, and the cabinets feel as though you're in a sailboat from my perspective. Very nicely done. There's a good bit of storage space here relative to those who are used to backpacking or tent camping, which is the background I came from. Uh, this is really quite a luxury. There are a couple of standard features that I actually had deleted on mine. Normally there would be a sink here with approximately eight gallon water tank uh, and similar size gray water holding tank. I also deleted off the propane stove. Um, my thinking was that I would use an external stove that would give me a little bit more flexibility in terms of where to set it up. Um, in doing so, we've also eliminated the propane tank that rides on the tongue of the trailer. Instead, I use refillable one-pound cylinders. There's a good bit of storage inside. These top shelves are an option that also can be ordered at the time of order in the trailer. Inside the storage bins, there's quite a bit of space. I really haven't maximized the space yet. This is the fuse panel, the voltmeter, the on-off switch for the house electricity. The battery is housed behind this panel. Um, this is is storage for some magma pots and pans. Um, I found collapsible bowls to be a very useful space saving way of uh, uh, storing that sort of thing. Um, again, more storage on this side. The light switch is both white as well as red. Very nice lighting. The sleeping area really is quite comfortable. This is a queen size bed. I'm just a hair over six feet tall and fit just fine. Plenty of room for the feet down underneath. 
There's a good bit of storage space for odds and ends. The air conditioner is an option that would not be standard, but something that I uh, would highly recommend for those living in the hot, humid areas of the country. The fantastic fan does an excellent job of ventilating the fan. I also selected the accessible hand bars, which, although it's easy enough getting in and out, provide a really nice area to hang things such as our Yeti cups at night when uh, we're sleeping, um, but also a good handhold to get in and out of the trailer. At the head of the bed there is additional storage space with AC outlets when plugged into shore power as well as USB and 12 volt outlets. The same lighting with both a traditional incandescent bulb as well as a red bulb. The front of the trailer has this bump out allowing for additional storage space. You just saw the interior storage space, but there also is this pass-through, which is a great place for storing things that might be a bit muddy or that you wouldn't otherwise want inside the trailer. Thank you very much for watching this video. For those who are interested in perhaps purchasing a camp-in, I'd be happy to supply a coupon that would allow you $100 off of the regular price as well as a cooler and an easy setup canopy. Please just email me to the link below. Thank you. Have a great day.